Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joining my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will identify and explain the differences between inherited and acquired physical traits. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I can identify and explain the differences between inherited and acquired physical traits. Take a look at this bodybuilder. He spent years working out, training, eating right, and living by a strict routine to get his body to look this way. Now this bodybuilder has a twin brother. They both look identical in the face, but extremely different in their body shape. Even though the brothers have the same parents, why is it that their physical appearance looks very different from each other? The bodybuilder also has a 15 year old son that looks just like him, but he's very skinny. Why do you think his son looks like him, but is so skinny and not very muscular at all? If his son never puts in the work, then he will never develop muscular results similar to or greater than his dad. That brings us to the topic of our video for today. Even though the bodybuilder, his twin brother, and his son look alike, the bodybuilder acquired his very muscular physique over time. This is a trait that cannot be inherited. All animals and plants have traits that can either be inherited or acquired. In today's video, we will compare and contrast inherited versus acquired physical traits. Let's start off with inherited traits first. Before we get into inherited traits, let's first talk about traits in general. Traits are qualities, features, or other things that distinguish an organism. Traits can include things like hair color, eye color, tooth shape, beak shape, bone size, or muscle structure. Like our story about the bodybuilder, his twin brother, and his son, some things can be inherited like hair color and eye color. In organisms, inherited traits must come from a parent or other ancestor. Inherited traits are traits that animals pass down to their offspring from generation to generation. A trait may seem to skip a generation or even two or three generations, but if a trait shows up, it must have been present in an ancestor from the past. For example, Look at my height and look at my son's height. Notice any difference? Even when you go to your family reunion, you may notice people in your family with similar physical traits. However, mutations are the exception to this rule because they can impact anyone and disrupt the successful passing of inherited traits. Inherited traits include things such as hair color, eye color, muscle structure, bone structure, and even features like the shape of a nose. This might include things like passing red hair down in a family. For animals, it may include things like the stripes on a zebra, a skunk's ability to spray, or the flavor of fruit from different apple trees. All plants and animals that reproduce pass on traits to their offspring. Quick check for understanding. Name two traits that you have inherited from your parents. Take one minute to think, pair, and share with a classmate beside you. Can't wait to hear your brilliant responses. Now this should be very interesting. Let's explore acquired traits next. Just like the bodybuilder, animals can acquire useful abilities. Acquired traits are traits that animals develop during their lifetime. Animals are not born with these traits. Acquired traits can be both physically and behavioral or learned as the animal develops during its lifetime. These acquired traits cannot be passed on genetically. The bodybuilder's son can't inherit his large muscular physique that he spent years building, nor his thoughts, memories, motivation, and any other acquired traits that he has developed over his lifetime. It doesn't work that way with any other organisms either. Acquired traits include things such as scars on the body, larger muscle size from exercise or from avoiding predators, pierced ears, offspring learning how to hunt by watching their parents, and other traits developed during an animal's lifetime. Behaviors that help an organism survive would also be considered acquired traits most of the time. Things like where to hide, what animals to hide from, and other behavior like that. Think about this. Why do things come naturally to some people such as singing, dancing, being good at a certain sport, being good at math, while others have to work harder to be good in those areas? Now the trick is, if you study and practice something long enough and hard enough, you can become good at it. Question is, are you prepared to put in the work to reach the goals you desire? Let's do a quick recap of comparing and contrasting inherited and acquired physical traits. Inherited traits are traits that are passed down from parent to offspring. They can be both physical and behavioral or instincts. 
Some examples would be being born with a specific hair color. Another example would be fish are not taught to swim. They do it naturally. How tall you are and frogs instinctually move by jumping. Remember, these traits are not taught. They are inherited from parents to offspring and are passed down from generation to generation. Acquired traits, on the other hand, are traits that are developed during an organism's lifetime. Some other examples would be learning how to build computers, build websites, build furniture, managing your finances, and making wise decisions in your life. Notice that these traits are not inherited from parent to offspring, but they are taught and learned throughout an organism's lifetime. Quick check for understanding. Identify the following examples as either inherited or acquired traits and explain your reasoning for each answer. Pause the video and take four minutes to complete. You got this. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the differences between inherited and acquired physical traits by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box to load the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency. Record your results on your proficiency sheet. And if you don't get it the first time, you better keep, keep going, going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day. A wild shape is among us. Ah!